Hi friends and welcome back to Irrational Gamer. Today I will show you how to play International Cricket 2010 on PC using emulator. Uh, actually I will show you two methods to run this game on PC uh, Windows to be exact. So the first method is the Xbox emulator. The emulator name is Xenia. So Xenia is Xbox 360 emulator. And if you Google, you can find this easily. And let me just launch Xenia. The good thing about this method is that there is not much to configure. As if you go to the file menu, you can see open, close, show content directory go if you go to the cpu menu you can see only few options here and you don't need to mess with any single of them so just go to the uh, file and choose open and now you need to select the iso which you have uh, from the DVD or from the internet I'm not gonna provide you with any kind of links so you have to find this on your own but you can see the name and if you know how to use Google you can easily find this game the name is International Cricket 2010 Paul.ISO and the size for this ISO is um, almost 7.5 GB if I right click it and go to the properties you can see it is 7.29 GB so get this ISO or dump one from your DVD if you have an Xbox 360 game DVD or PlayStation 3 uh, DVD as this game was never released on Windows or for PC uh, because Codemasters said they'll have to wait and watch for uh, how much this game earns how much uh, this will earn and then they will decide if they will release a PC version or not and I don't know why they did not and you may already know the software piracy game piracy is very popular in Asian countries especially uh, like India Pakistan Bangladesh Sri Lanka Afghanistan etc so these are some cricketing nations where there is a lot of software piracy game piracy and that's why cricket games suffer so much because of this well that's a topic we will cover in some other video but now it's time to start this game so just select the ISO I mean you don't need to uh, configure any type of setting any type of setting in the Zini emulator which is a uh, Xbox 360 emulator click open this game was developed by Trickstar games and published by Codemasters in 2010. By the way, my system specs are... Um, let me just turn off the music for this game. Um, actually, currently I have not attached any controller. But on Irrational Gamer YouTube channel, you can see many videos of cricket 2010 and i yet have to review this game as well and if you have not seen any of the cricket gaming reviews you can see them as well but uh, they are in urdu language so that's it that's how you play this game on 
Zini emulator, the Xbox 360 version. So, one more thing, yeah, uh, the pros and cons or the good thing about Xenia emulator is that you don't have to configure this. But now the bad thing is you need a good computer, especially a good GPU or graphic card, external graphic card to play this game or any Xbox 360 game using Xenia emulator. So I had uh, uh, RX 484 GB before, but now I have NVIDIA GTX 952 GB. So this game lags just a little bit. So that's why I no longer play this game on Xenia. So just attach a controller. You can use the DualShock 3 controller wirelessly using the SCP toolkit drivers for DualShock 3 emulator. Or you can use another Xbox 360 controller directly with Windows, whatever you prefer, whatever controller you like to play with this game. Okay, this uh, that's it about this game and the Zini emulator. Now I will show you the second method. I will just close this emulator. Go back. This time we will open the PlayStation 3 emulator. As I told you before, this game was only released on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So, PlayStation 3 emulator is already there and it's also free if you Google RPCS3. You can easily find this one. Let me just launch the PS3 emulator and it regularly updates even after few hours I mean you can see your version is 8 hours and 23 minutes behind I like this that they are constantly updating this RCPS3 PlayStation 3 emulator so I try to update this whenever I open it so let me just click yes as it will only take few seconds and it will just update and when you update, you fix a lot of things, a lot of bugs, and the performance may also improve for you. Okay, RPCS3 will now restart. Hit OK, and it will automatically restart. Here we go. And currently, I have these games only for PS3, like Siren, New Translation, Rain, International Cricket 2010, Flower, Birds of Steel. This is Apollo save tool for um, resigning some other save files for, from a consoles, PlayStation 3. And then we have 1942 Joint Strike. The video for this game is already on Irrational Gamer. If you haven't checked that, please check that out. And the video for Birds of Steel, I will um, record this very soon. Then let's talk about International Cricket 2010. Same thing goes here. You also need a ISO for this game as well, but this time you need the PS3 version, not the Xbox 360 version. And that's obvious because we're using the PlayStation 3 emulator. Um, let's when you go to the file menu and click Add Games it will ask you to select the folder and you don't need to provide it with the ISO but you need to give it the folder instead so like this if you got the game in ISO format don't worry just extract it and give this emulator that folder and that game will automatically appear in your game list like this and now let's talk about the good and bad things about this emulator well the good thing is uh, on my 2 GB Nvidia GTX 950 this emulator works flawlessly and almost all these games runs at uh, 1080p or 720p on high highest settings by the way you can configure the settings for any game by right clicking on the game 
and from there uh, change custom configuration and we have a lot and a lot of settings but main thing here is GPU renderer should say Vulkan and then you can set the resolution of the game see and even you can increase the resolution upscale and add anti-aliasing FPS limit etc you know you name it then we have all these options like RCAS sharpening strength but you don't need to know about all this stuff just change this if the game is slow for you and you have a low end computer and this might work for you but there is no guarantee let's click close let me just turn on the controller so i can show you some of the gameplay right click on the game and click boot with custom configuration if this is the first time you are booting a game it will take few minutes but as this is not the first time uh, this is the firewall prompt okay give it access so this is not the first time i'm booting this game i have attached my dualshock 3 or ps3 controller wirelessly and now it's time to play the cricket I had, I think so, I had, yeah, a saved file somewhere, maybe not, nops, there is no save file, okay, let's go back and click play cricket, 20 hours, difficulty should be hard, yeah, I just love the Australian cricket team, so, I think I will go with the Australia. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Okay. Because Australia is here and you cannot see Australia. Okay, Australia versus India. I will choose the Australian side. Stadium should be Melbourne. Night, afternoon, morning. Temperature should be hot because these days it is very hot cloud cover random wind random pitch wear day one ball type white go ahead and you can edit the squads by the way <coughs> if you see you can tell i have the licensed players for all teams hmm, that's cool isn't it you can do the same by checking my last video in the same playlist of cricket games on how to download the uh, licensed squads roster file that is available for download if you look at my previous three videos I mean there are three videos one for Xbox 360 emulator or Xbox 360 console itself Xenia or Xbox 360 one file is for Xbox 360 version and one file is for PlayStation 3 console and one file is for this emulator rcps3 so check, make sure you check the those videos out to get these license squads etc let's go forward and start the match i like i like this game i mean the commentary is good the camera angles are phenomenal the captains have made their way the only problem i have with this game is its difficulty settings you know uh, like now I'm playing in hard and if you miss time a ball <laughs> that will either be an outside edge or an inside edge so I hate that I mean what the hell man yeah another problem with the ps3 version though that uh, so you may see some flickering graphics in the crowd like you can see on the screen right now i didn't have time to fix this 
Oh, maybe by going to the options, making some settings, you may able to fix these things. Oh, that was outside edge because I played it a little late, but somehow the keeper dropped the catch. Oops. No problem, man. <laughs> Let's try to play one more shot. That was an edge also. They'll have to be quick. That's a really good shot. Appeal for a run out, but no. You can look around with the left analog stick, but this is not the review for International Cricket 2010. I can feel the vibration too on the controller, and that's a good thing. Oh my, my. I said that was gonna be the last ball, but who cares? Run, man, run. Yeah. No, 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 not for the double. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's enough. So that's how you run International Cricket 2010 on computer, PC, Windows, the Xbox 360 version, or and the PS3 version. So, I hope I helped you somehow. Well, in the end, don't go away. Let me show you something. That's two more to the team.